Hi guys, it's Miss Karen from The Reading Corner. Today, we are gonna be starting with some reading and we're gonna use one of our reading stories, or literacy stories, but you guys, do you notice something wrong with our literacy story? There's missing trickster words and there's missing letters. I'm gonna tell you something. I have four cats. I know, it's kind of crazy. I'm like a crazy cat lady. And August is like a really kind of likes to stay by himself kind of cat. Grayson's like a really fun, friendly cat. Leo's kind of like a lazy cat, but then there's Molly. And every time I make one of these activities at the house, if I leave it all by itself, somebody messes it up. And I think we all think at my house it's Molly. So every time we have something like this, we always say, oh, Molly. Can you say that? Go, oh, Molly. Because Molly thinks she's being funny, but she doesn't know that I have so many smart kids out there like you that are gonna help me, okay? So if you notice, we have two stories. And to make it a little bit easier, you can either cut the story in half or you can just fold it. And let me tell you what I like to do. When I'm done with these stories, I like to put them in, like I make a collection. You know how you sometimes have like collections of dolls or stuffed animals or cars? I like to collect literacy stories. I know it's kind of silly, but I put them all together like maybe in a binder or a folder. So when I'm like, I want to put some stickers on my book chart, I can get that folder out and I can practice reading with the literacy stories. So we're gonna put it together, just half of it, so then I can leave some for you to do at home. And then we're gonna practice reading it, okay? So, what do you think our first literacy story is gonna be about? Hmm. Is it about going to the beach? No, those aren't things that you use at the beach. I mean, you can use them at the beach, but I don't think the theme of the story is the beach. Do you think it's about things you find on a farm? No, I mean, you could find these on a farm, but that's definitely not what it is. I think, what do you think it's gonna be about? If you said it's gonna be types of balls that you play sports with, that's kind of what I was thinking too, okay? Now, the first sentence has nothing missing. So I'm gonna model for you how a good reader points to the words as they read. But here's the thing. I gave you an extra little like helper because I actually put the dots. And those dots are what you actually are gonna to point to as you read, okay? So I'm gonna read it first, and then I'm gonna to point to the dots, and you're gonna read it with me, okay? Let's try it. I play soccer. So notice I didn't go, I play soccer, or go really, really fast or really slow. I pointed to the words, I play soccer, okay? I'm gonna to point to the dots, and I'm gonna have you point, read those sentence for me. I'm gonna listen, you ready? Get started. Great job. Okay, so here's my problem. I noticed that I have one of the words missing and every sentence says the exact same trickster words. And remember we talked about trickster words or words that try to trick us? So the two trickster words that we have in all of this and this literacy story is the word I and the word play. And when I see an I by itself, it's always tall. Can you say that? If I see an I by itself, it's always tall. That means we're not gonna write a small i like we see here, okay? So, if I know that the two trickster words that we're looking at in this literacy story is I and play, and I know we already see the word play, what word do you think we're missing? I, yep. So I'm gonna stick the word I right here. Oh gosh. There's one missing on this one too. What are the two trickster words that we are using in this story? I and play. Right, okay. So, I see I, what word am I missing? Yeah, play. Now, I'm gonna leave the rest of the sentences to you, but we're gonna play a quick word game before we flip it over and do the other literacy story. I'm gonna say the words, and I want you to tell me what sound you hear at the beginning of those words, okay? So let me tell you what I mean. If I say, what sound do you hear at the beginning of soccer, I want you to say, s, and then you can do 
the movement if you want. And if you don't know our letter sounds and movements, you're already on our YouTube channel. So you can click and scroll down and find the video that says, I say, you say. And that's gonna teach you all the different movements that we use for our literacy or our letters here at the Reading Corner, okay? So let's try the next one. Basketball. What sound do you hear at the beginning of b -b basketball? If you said the sound, b, you're right. What letter makes the b sound? Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. B makes the b sound, great job. Okay, what kind of ball is this? Yeah, it's a tennis ball. What sound do you hear at the beginning of t, t, tennis? T, 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 t. Great job. What letter makes the t, t, t sound? Yeah, the letter T, all right? What about, we did baseball. Oh, hold on. I noticed something that's the same about b, b, basketball and b, b, baseball. Hmm. Do you notice that they both start with the same letter? What letter does basketball and baseball start with? Yeah, it starts with the letter B. Great job, you guys. Okay, last one. What kind of ball is this? It's a football, right? What sound do you hear at the beginning of football? Yeah, it's the letter F. Okay, now I did that little game, that practice, so that we are really ready to do this side. Now, here's something that's kind of tricky about this side, is it has different trickster words. What were the two trickster words we were talking about on the other literacy story? I and play. Do you see the two? I'm gonna say the first sentence. I see parties. Robots. I see robots, okay? So if we had I and play in the first little literacy story, what trickster words do we have in this literacy story? I and C. <gasps> do you notice something that's wrong with this word? Something that's missing? It's the beginning sound, you guys. So in the le other literacy story, we practice hearing the beginning sound, and now we have to practice finding the beginning sound, okay? So if I see that the, aren't those guys cool? So if I see robots, what sound do you hear at the beginning of robots? Ooh, or rrr. Robots. Ooh, rrr. Yeah, it's the letter R, okay? Now remember, good readers point to the words as they read them. So I want you to point to the words as I read them. Ready? I see robots. Great job. Okay, the next one says, do you know what that word is? I see, hmm. This could be b, b blocks, but that's not what this says. It says egos. What, what would this be if I put a F at the beginning? I see fagos. Does that make sense? Those don't look like fagos. Let's try the other one. What if I put an L? Let's see if that makes sense. I see Legos. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. So I like to leave a little bit of the activity that you guys can do at your own. And the reason for that is because I am so excited about our book charts. So when you do a book chart, when you do the rest of this activity, you can put a sticker on your book chart. And if you don't know all the cool things about the book chart, you're already on our YouTube channel, so you can scroll. And I actually did a video on why we use book charts and all the different ways you can use them. So you've got one side over here that you need to finish, and you've got this one over here. And then remember I told you I like to collect them? So save them and make sure that you put them in a folder or a binder. And every time you wanna add stickers to your book chart, you've got literacy stories that you can use. You guys did such a great job. We'll see you next time. Today is Sunday. Sunday chicken, all you lucky children, well that's okay, today is Monday. 
Monday, peanut butter Sunday, chicken, all you lucky children. Well, that's okay. Today is Tuesday. Snap your fingers. Tuesday, snap beans. Monday, peanut butter Sunday, chicken, all you lucky children. Well, that's okay. Today is Wednesday. Soup. Wednesday, soup. Tuesday, snap beans. Monday, peanut butter Sunday, chicken, all you lucky children. Well, that's okay. Today is Thursday. Ice cream. Thursday, ice cream. Wednesday, soup. Tuesday, snap beans. Monday, peanut butter Sunday, chicken, all you lucky children. Well, that's okay. Today is Friday. Hot dog. Friday, yeah. Friday, hot dog. Thursday, ice cream. Wednesday, soup. Tuesday, snap beans. Monday, peanut butter Sunday, chicken. All you lucky children, well that's okay. Today is Saturday. Pizza. Saturday, pizza. Friday, hot dog. Thursday, ice cream. Wednesday, soup. Tuesday, snap beans. Monday, peanut butter. Sunday, chicken. All you lucky children, well that's okay. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Allison from Reading Quarter Online. It's time to do some math. Woohoo! I know you guys are good at this. I might even call you my math elites because you guys are so awesome. All right, let's count first before we count flowers. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Oh, that's a really big number. Oh my goodness. All right, now, there was all these flowers that you can cut out and we're gonna match them, okay? This is all big kid stuff, so let's see if we can do it together. All right, ooh, I have this one. They're blue flowers with pink in the middle. That's great. Okay, ready, let's count. One, two, three. Ooh, so now we're gonna match the number are three flowers with the number three. Hmm, let's think about that. Remember, we were counting just a second ago. So, is it this one? I don't think so. How about this one? No, it's three. Oh, I know it's right here. All right, we got it. Boom, just like that. All right, our next one. Oh, this one's really big. This is a this is a lot of flowers. All right, are you ready? Get your pointers out. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a big number. Should we put it right here on the number one? No way, there's too many flowers on this one. Oh, we have to go. One, two, three, four, Five. Oh, ding, ding, ding. We found it. It's right here. All right. Boom. Nailed it. All right, next one. Oh, look at this one. They're orange with pink in the middle. It's amazing. One, two. All right, I think maybe down here on the number eight. Is there eight flowers there? No way. Just two. One, two. I know where it is, way up there. All right, I have one more left. All right, pointers out. One, two, three, four. Did you count four? You are amazing. All right, I think I know where it is. It's, it's purple. Did you see the, it's right here, right next to me. Oh, there it is. All right, I know you all have extra flowers. You can do that later. Put it on your book chart once you did all that work. You guys are amazing. Thanks for helping me today. All right, see you later. Thanks for learning with me. We're gonna do tutti ta. All you have to do is repeat and listen to the singer and repeat what she says. Are you ready? Let's go. A 
ta a tooty ta a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. A tooty ta a tooty ta a tooty ta ta. A tooty ta a tooty ta a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. A tooty ta a tooty ta a tooty ta ta. A tooty ta a tooty ta a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Feet apart. Feet apart. A tooty ta a tooty ta a tooty ta ta. A tooty ta a tooty ta a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Knees together, a tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up, thumbs up, elbows back, elbows back, feet apart, feet apart. Knees together, knees together. All right, hi, I'm Miss Allison from Reading Corner Online. All right, it's time to do another fun activity with us. We're gonna be working in, with this particular activity with the letter M, sounds like this, mm, and the letter S. S, S. Now, there was all these pictures that you can cut out and then we can put them in the right letters, which on the right, on the correct side. Now. I'm gonna put up some pictures, and maybe you can help me. I need a lot of help these days, so let's try it. <laughs> All right, ready? I see a picture. Hmm, what is that? It's a monkey, yeah. Mm, let's try it, mm, monkey. Should monkey go on this side? Or this side? Mm. You got it. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think it's upside down. It's a sun. <laughs> oh, let's try it. Let's think about that. The word sun. S sun. Hmm. Should we put it with a monkey? No way. Let's try it on the letter S. All right. Oh, no. I think it's stinky. This one's a stinky one. It's a skunk. <laughs> let's let's say the word skunk. You got it. It's on this. Baby. All right, my last picture. Oh, these are so yummy. It's nice to have these for breakfast, maybe. It's a muffin. Mmm. Let's say that again. Mmm. Yeah, it's a muffin. Mmm. No, it definitely belongs on this side. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Now, I know you have extra pictures. Do that with mom, dad, brother, sister. You can do that for at, at home for homework. And you can also put a sticker on your, on your book chart. Yeah, you can do it. All right, before I go, I'm gonna throw glitter. You ready? On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Did you catch it? Okay, now you do it at me. 
Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. I got it. Thanks for learning with me. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Karen from The Reading Corner. Okay, so we're gonna do something that isn't my favorite thing. I'm just gonna tell you. Handwriting can kind of be boring, but when you get really good at writing letters, you're gonna be so proud of yourself. So we're gonna practice a little bit of handwriting, but if you want to practice even more handwriting lessons, if you scroll down on our YouTube channel, you can find extra lessons and practice them a little bit every day. I like to practice about five minutes of handwriting with my kiddos here at the Reading Corner every day. And at first it's so boring and it's so hard because it's really hard to hold that pencil. But after two or three weeks, you get really good at it. So don't give up and really try to practice your lines. Okay, so today we're just gonna practice the two most basic shapes that we use when we write, do handwriting. We make circles and we make lines. Okay, I want you to get your finger started in the air. Everybody get your finger up. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. Let me kind of turn around, ready? We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna go around and stop, okay? Watch me. Start at two o'clock, around, touch the bottom line, try it. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop, try it again. Start at two o'clock, go up, look, I'm kind of going up, touch the bottom line, stop. Now, I know you're thinking, uh, Miss Karen, there's no two o'clock, there's no line, and I get that. But eventually, once we get used to these, we're gonna put lines. And it's really important that your letters don't go flying all over the paper and you actually land them on that line. But that's, that's a ways to go. If you have this activity in front of you and you've got a marker, great. If you don't and you wanna just practice with your finger, you can do that too, okay? And another really great way of practicing letters and like um, handwriting is if you have like kinetic sand or just regular sand, like if you go to the beach, you can practice making circles and lines in the sand. It's pretty fun, okay? So we're just gonna do two of them really quick. Do you notice that I put a green dot? The green means go, the red means stop. So we're gonna start at the dot and I'm gonna say two o'clock. Ready? I'm gonna do it first so everybody put your hands on your head. Quick, hands on your head. Okay, I do start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Now you try it. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Good job, wasn't so hard, huh? Okay, hands on your head, you ready? My turn, start it. Am I gonna start at the red line and go this way? Or am I gonna start at the green line and go this way? The green dot, right, not the green line. The green dot, because remember green means go. All right, my turn. Keep those hands on your head. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Okay, your turn. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Okay. Now, we're gonna switch over to the other page. What I want to see you guys do with these is really take your time. I always tell my kids, I'd rather see really, like really, three really good A's than like 15 sloppy A's. Or like three really good M's versus like 40 sloppy M's. Because our goal is to get really good at writing letters, okay? Now, I know you're probably thinking, Miss Karen, lines are so easy to make, and they kind of are, but the problem with lines a lot of times is you guys make them kind of sloppy, and it's okay, because you're building those little finger muscles, okay? And it's really hard to hold pencils. So if your line kind of looks like this for a while, that's fine, that's the way it's supposed to be. But if we keep practicing, we'll get better at it, right? Okay, now tell me, am I gonna start on the green dot? or the red dot? Yep, the green dot. Okay, watch me. All I'm gonna say is, oh, hold on. Hands on your head. Do you have your hands on your head? Okay, so all I'm gonna say is top line, down, touch the bottom line. Watch me again. Top line down, touch the bottom line. Do you see how straight my lines are? If yours aren't straight like that, that's okay. But I want you to try to practice a couple of them now. And if you don't have this paper, if you have a pencil and paper in front of you, you can practice that too. So I'm gonna say it 
while you guys practice it. Are you ready? Okay. Top line down, touch the bottom line. Let's try another one. Top line down, touch the bottom line. Can you do one more? Top line down, touch the bottom line. Okay, now if you think you're ready for more letters, which I'm sure you are, make sure you go and pre practice all of our handwriting lessons. There's like five or six of them. I would recommend doing like one video, maybe 10 times, and then moving to the next one. So you don't have to do it, or you can do one, and then the next one, and the next one, and then go back to them and start them over, whichever way you want. But make sure you check out our other videos. You guys did such a great job at a really hard task, and we'll see you at our next video.